Now, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, has announced he'll step down at the end of the year. After 10 years steering the church around the minefields of gay rights and women bishops, he's off to be the master of Magdalen College, Cambridge. Our social affairs editor, Jackie Long, looks back at his often troubled tenure and forward to his likely successor. Send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman whom we bless in thy name. At the very heart of the establishment, no greater role in the Church of England. But it was a high-profile position Dr Williams was always reluctant to fill. And now he's to step back into a world he's much more familiar with. Dr Williams won support for speaking out on social issues at home and human rights abuses across the world. But he struggled to satisfy opposing factions over the ordination of women bishops and gay clergy. Today, supporters said history would look kindly on him. He is very obviously, when you meet him, a holy man, a man of prayer. But he's also a man of great intellect, you know, taken seriously in the academies of the world. And these are rare qualities, you know, to be combined in one person. You know, I, I do think he's the sort of archbishop that only comes along, you know, once every couple of centuries. You know, I think history will see that he is actually one of the great archbishops. Dr Williams' tenure as Archbishop of Canterbury has covered a particularly turbulent period in the life of the Church of England, with the gap between traditionalists and liberals widening all the time. But whoever his successor is faces an equally challenging time, not least over the very current and divisive issue of gay marriage. It's the Archbishop of York who is certainly the best-known contender. He and his family are constantly going to be in my prayers like they have been for a very long time. Do you fancy his job? You, got, you can't be serious. You're ruling yourself out? You can't be serious. Dr Sentimu has already made headlines with his fierce opposition to the government's gay marriage plans. But observers say his high media profile may actually count against him in the end. John Sentimu is one of the favourites because nobody else knows anyone else in the Church of England. So the reason the bookmakers are coming up with the Archbishop of York as the successor is because they know what he looks like. And I think for that reason he won't get the job. They'll almost go for somebody who doesn't want it, who doesn't have a profile, but understands the Church of England and what it needs and also what the Anglican Communion needs to get through what is still a very rocky phase. The Church must now choose its preferred candidate for a new Archbishop of Canterbury before the Prime Minister then commends him to the Queen. They have until the end of the year to decide.